This is 24 karat gold coated ice cream and it's fully edible because it's raw gold. Since at least 5,000 years ago, humans have been obsessed with gold. The ancient Egyptians used to eat it for mental and spiritual and physical purification. Cleopatra 2,000 years ago used to put a gold mask on every night to help her be beautiful. And now it's become a trendy foodie thing that everyone covers their food with gold and it sells out everywhere around the country. It's the most expensive ice cream sundae in the world. 24 karat gold chicken wings. Chocolate, Nutella, strawberry, champagne, gold donut. Now this is likely safe to eat because raw gold is inert. It will pass right through me out of my intestines and be the most expensive trip to the bathroom I've probably ever taken. So I'm gonna eat this right now and I'll tell you guys how it tastes. That didn't really taste like anything. I, I think gold is pretty tasteless. Uh, at the first moment, I felt some tingling on my lips, but otherwise, um, it felt just a regular vanilla ice cream cone. So that was a pretty expensive vanilla ice cream cone. I just ate gold, and it's fine, but why can't you eat silver? Meet Paul Kerrison. He heard that colloidal silver was a great natural treatment and started making it at home. He would drink it daily and apply it to his face. I didn't turn blue until I started putting it on my face. And while he says it improved his gastric reflux, he developed a rare condition called Argyria, where the body turns bluish gray as a result of consuming silver. The silver got into all of his tissues and cells and a reaction similar to black and white photo paper happened. When exposed to light or a reducing agent, the ionic silver accepts an electron becoming silver metal, staining his cells and turning him this color. This is generally harmless, aside from the fact that he was irreversibly blue for the rest of his life. Pure gold, on the other hand, is inert to the body, meaning it doesn't react with anything, passing through you as really expensive poop. But ionic gold, sometimes used in the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis, can turn someone blue as well, in a condition called chiriasis. The worst part of this is that people online are promoting colloidal silver as a natural cure, even though the FDA has come out with warnings against this. Silver is not needed in the body and is not an essential mineral. Sure, silver is known to be antibacterial and was used for thousands of years before the discovery of antibiotics like penicillin. Just the other day, in clinic, we used it to prevent infection after a procedure, in careful, limited use. But this, this is quackery, dishonest promotion of medical treatments by non-qualified personnel. Since the days of snake oil salesmen in the 1800s, people have tried to make a quick buck off of their health and harmed many people in the process. There are a couple of factors going on here. First, anyone can make a blog. People already distrust the medical system and many search Google for their symptoms at first. There are people who are less than honest that know how much you care about your health and try to capitalize on the $3 trillion healthcare industry. And thanks to the Dietary Supplement Health and Education Act of 1994, any supplement can be marketed to consumers as long as it is not intended to diagnose, cure, or prevent disease. They can just say it supports health. The FDA doesn't even really check what's inside these supplements, so it can literally contain anything. Here are some clear signs for quackery. First, if they claim that they can cure everything with it. Chances are, if it sounds too good to be true, it is. Second, if they sell the product themselves. I wouldn't trust that. And third, if they discredit all doctors in the world. I mean, all doctors meet up in a secret conspiracy looking to destroy your health and not treat you? Yeah, not likely. And if you're curious about any supplement, you can check the website for the National Center of Complementary and Integrated Health to see what the actual experts think. The link is below. I just hope that Argyria doesn't become the next beauty trend.